October is my favorite month of the year. The weather cools down, the leaves turn to so many gorgeous colors, and my mind and body prepare to slow down for the winter. So this month when I sat down to create the October Patreon postcards, I knew I had to honor this beautiful time and paint some autumn trees. It's always fun to explore different techniques like color bleeds, drips, splashes, and layers on these postcards. And since it's Inktober, I definitely get inspired to use ink, uh, but this time around I kept it minimal by doing an ink and wash style. The really cool thing about making a couple dozen postcards each month is that I can quickly explore a variety of techniques in a pressure-free way. I mean, yes, I'm sending these to my patrons, so I want them to be high quality, but I'm referring more to the act of making several pieces of art in a short amount of time. Over the course of a few days, I paint anywhere from 20 to 50 postcard size paintings. This repetition helps solidify the lessons that I learn, and each month I feel myself growing a lot. And then I can just pick and choose the best ones and send them to my lovely patrons. Over the last four years or so, every single month I sit down to explore a specific idea in this manner. It's like short bursts of exploration that allow me to work through something I've been struggling with or a brand new technique. And I don't know about you, but oftentimes while I'm painting, I'll try something new and it's like watching magic flow across the paper. And if I don't immediately repeat it, it can sometimes get lost in the history of the painting as a fluke. So taking the time to repeat these things in quick succession helps them become second nature. And even if it's something very minor, it all adds up over the years to become a natural part of my workflow and style. So I wonder, how do other artists grow? Do you do lots of small studies, repeating the same things until they feel natural? Or do you prefer to paint something once and move on? I'd love to hear about your process, so feel free to start a conversation in the comments below. With watercolor, I like to use it in a way that celebrates its unique qualities. The bleeds, the blooms, the negative space, and even the unpredictability. That's what excites me about it, so oftentimes I explore these things in my postcards. I just want to say a huge thanks to my patrons because you guys are one of the huge reasons I can do this full time. I have lots of tutorials to help you explore your watercolor and gouache skills, so check out the links in the description below, but most importantly I encourage you to go experiment. And of course, if you would like to receive one of these, just make sure you sign up before the end of October to my Patreon postcard tier. If you enjoyed this little video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Alright guys, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.